During World War II, there was a lesser-known war going on called the Second Sino-Japanese War. The casualties of this war added up to around 22 million. World War II casualties added up to around 65 million. Despite the surprisingly large number of casualties, the Second Sino-Japanese War is still largely disregarded by the world. On July 8th, a Japanese soldier went missing near the border of China and the newly established Japanese colony of Manchukuo. Although the soldier returned mere hours later, both the Chinese army and the Japanese army refused to back down or negotiate. This event was nicknamed the Marco Polo Bridge Incident after the bridge that separated the Chinese territory and the Japanese territory. It is also widely regarded as the start of the Second Sino-Japanese War. During this war, the Japanese army traveled down the eastern coast of China, conquering cities such as Beijing, Shanghai, and Nanking. On August 8, 1937, the Japanese won their first major battle in this war with the Battle of Beijing. After this battle, the Japanese army continued down the eastern coast of China, eventually conquering Shanghai on October 26, 1937. On November 3rd, the citizens of Nanking heard about the brutal pillaging and conquering of Shanghai and Beijing by the Japanese. And they set up a safety zone about the size of Central Park within a neutral part of the city. On December 1st, the Chinese army abandoned the city of Nanking and moved further down the eastern coast of China. Finally, on December 9th, the Japanese Imperial Army arrived at the gates of Nanking and demanded a surrender within 24 hours. No surrender was made and the order to attack was given. Within three weeks, the Japanese had slaughtered more than 300,000 Chinese citizens. Japanese soldiers chased down all the remaining Chinese soldiers in Nanking and murdered them. They killed innocent families in brutal ways, and perhaps the most horrific scene was the rape of Nanking. On December 16, 1937, most of the women in the city of Nanking were taken down to the town square, raped, then murdered. The events committed were so brutal, and the death toll was so high, that it was nicknamed the Forgotten Holocaust. The occupation of Nanking lasted until September 2, 1945, after the Japanese surrender of World War II. The massacre of Nanking is remembered by the Chinese as an infamous symbol of war crimes. Hardly a day goes by without a program about the massacre playing on Chinese television. This is a complete contrast to how some Japanese citizens and officials perceive the massacre. To this day, some Japanese officials claim that most of the massacre was fabricated. The massacre is regarded by Japanese nationalists as Japan bashing. Regardless to how this event is perceived, it is undeniable that the event has a lasting negative effect on the Tokyo-Beijing relationship to this day.